G'day and welcome back, Faintly Saintly here, and I'm back here again with Rogue Knight. Now the last video took off, apparently a lot of people are excited about this game, and uh, and with good reason, it's got a really good solid foundation, some nice concepts, and if you're not familiar with it, it's essentially an action roguelike, but it's also got the open world survival aspect to it as well. You walk around, you collect resources, you build your little settlement as you see here, and uh, when you die, and you will die, you lose it all. That's the uh, the fun of the roguelike, isn't it? Progression is done with meta progression from your kill count, and you can upgrade your characters and then try again and and make it even further. So the reason I'm revisiting this game is that one of the major criticisms of the game that I saw in the comments, I'm just going to pause quickly here, was that the combat was a bit stale, a bit uh, a bit simple, a bit repetitive. And, uh, you know, everything else looked really good. People were just like, oh, this combat isn't quite working for me. But thankfully the devs listened because an update has just come out that adds a bit of a, uh, a bit of a combo system, a bit of a, a bit of depth to the combat as well. So what I thought I'd do is I'd jump back in, I'd get to this point and, you know, skip the start of the game again. So I've already got a little settlement. I've already got a couple of NPCs here in my base. And uh, I'll, I've already collected a couple of weapons as well. So we can test this out and see how the weapons have changed. So, I'm just going to start with the basic short sword, and we can see here, you'll see there's a, a, a swing and a second swing, and that second swing has a bit more of a range to it. You can probably see it a bit better if you aim down. See that? Now, the first swing isn't reaching the grass, but the second swing does. So there's a bit of variety and a bit more strategy. Um, one other thing is the dagger, which is a little bit different. It's got a swing, swing, stab. And I've also picked up a bow. Now, I did have the bow in the last run, but what I didn't realize, and it may be a new feature, it may not, is that when you charge, hold down the bow and charge it, you actually shoot three arrows at once, turning into quite a formidable weapon. Now, this video might be <laughs> close to over before it starts, the way these zombies are pouring in. I was hoping to um, get to try out some of the more unique weapons as well, you know, there's clubs and, and uh, battle axes and that sort of thing as well. Spears. Thank you for reminding me, Mr. Skeleton with a spear. There we go. Oh no, it's not over yet, is it? Hey, don't don't attack that. That's mine. Oh my goodness. What are we on? Day okay, it's day four. Alright. <laughs> so my plan was I would start start the game, skip the uh, the intro which we've already seen. And uh, just jump right into the action here with a rebuilt base, but um, I may not even get the chance to do anything because these guys won't want to uh, eat me. And there's a lot of them. Well, hopefully I'll just pin out this sword. The day is starting, it's uh, becoming daylight again. Hopefully that'll um, you know, give me a bit of breathing room. Stop breaking my stuff. Whoa, whoa, this guy's got nuts on him. Good to know the NPCs can defend themselves, or at least help defend your, your base. Go away. Oh no, they broke my uh, mining table. That means I lost my NPC. Sorry, this was meant to be a weapon showcase, but I think I'm going to need to uh, just do a little bit of a rebuild while I'm at it. I don't have enough gold for that. Oh my goodness, get off my walls. All right, I need to change the weapons. Well, at least it is a good demo of the combat. You see that second swing comes in quite handy. To get an extra hit or two in. We pump this down here. Righto, doors are gone, walls are gone, torch is gone. Right. Definitely need to get out there and find some more effective weaponry. Clean you up. We gotta get through this. Oh yeah, that uh, a little one-two hit is certainly. Uh, Make any difference. 
we can just sort of dash in for a quick flash there. My goodness. This might not be able to clean up this mess. I run past. Ooh, maybe. Maybe the difficulty has been ramped up a little bit, what I'm remembering. Um, was there a way out here? No, I think this is a dead end. This is the, this is the cave. Um, where else to go? I'll have to go into the cave. Stuff here, maybe. Actually, I need to check something. There was. Was. Some mention of a. Potion. Wasn't there? Health potion Q. There it is. Um, oh, that's what that little queue down there is. Okay. Didn't realize quite what that was. But I may have only had the one, so that's less than ideal. But anyway, I had to pass the horde down the river. Um, but yeah, I'm on the search for some new weapons to really test out this combat system. Already, it is a little bit more. A little bit more dynamic, I would say. But again, that's only just a small part of the game as well. If you didn't didn't catch the last episode, you're not familiar with this game. It's basically, um, yeah, open world survival crafting, all that good stuff. All the stuff you're familiar with. Chopping down trees, smashing rocks, building a base, recruiting NPCs, keeping them fed, keeping yourself fed. And keeping yourself alive, basically. I suppose the the difference to most open world sort of survival craft is that being a roguelike, the uh, the dev says death is inevitable, and so far I believe it. <laughs> um, and once you die, that's it. Then use your experience and your meta progression and try and do better. So we haven't made it to the city before. Didn't get. Uh, much further. Can't really remember what we got out of it either. We got basically what I'm doing now is just looted, looted some houses and a few bits and pieces out of it. Hopefully, there will be some weapons around that I can try my hand at. Maybe a few new points of interest as well. I don't want to corner myself in this house. Trying to see if there's anything in that. Oh, a chest there. I do have some keys. I'll go have a look. There's no walls, but I'll still open the door. Oh, give me a potion. Very welcome after that little run in I had earlier. Alright, so we're full of wood. I should stop wasting that, but I do want to keep exploring. Yeah, that sounded like a weapon drop, but we'll see what I've got when it's safe. Look at this guy. Oh, look straight into that. Alright, what did we get? A club? Different. Okay. Look at that wide swing and then a slam. Wide swing, slam. Bit of um, crowd control potential as well. What's that green thing I just picked up? Am I imagining that? I've been seeing things. Anyway, 
Make our way through. Yeah, it does feel... It doesn't look that different, does it? I mean, you could be watching this video thinking you can't tell the difference. Because, yeah, visually it's almost identical. But it just does feel a little bit smoother, a little bit nicer. Getting rushed here. Don't need a skeleton with a great sword to cause me any problems right now. Some weapons in there though. What is this? Zombie with a helmet? No, it's a it's a bald man. <laughs> oh no, I've used up all my keys, haven't I? Hopefully there's one around, otherwise I might be in a bit of trouble. There isn't. Can I can't bash down doors by any chance? No. Now, I did just pick up a Warhammer. That's interesting. Okay, that's got the slam and then the follow up uh, thrust. Which is a little bit different. Yeah, this goes. Feels nice. Well, this is definitely better for crowd control. Got a key out of that, so I'm going to go back underground. Try not to die. What else did I pick up? A katana. How's that look? I think that might be bugged. That seems to be the same position whichever way I'm facing. Anyway, let's see what this fellow has to say. Who are you? Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> He's gone. Um, a long sword. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, is that a there's a little uh, thrust there. Speed boost. When I use the double swing. Might be an alright weapon, actually. I just need to get out of here alive, really. And the decorative will kind of take that. Dying out of it, at least. Nice. Alright, well, that was a productive run into town. Got a few good weapons out of it. And a new NPC should join me back at the settlement if I can make it out of here in one piece. Yeah, feeling much more capable now. Although <laughs> these numbers are making me a bit nervous here. They've gone past. Make a few hits in. And run. I wonder if they go destroy my base while I'm not there. There's every chance I'm going back to uh, nothing. <laughs> Should get more stone actually on my way. Okay. Now it's broken, but I'm going to try the katana.
That's nice. As long as the enemy's like below you, not directly in front of you, I think you're okay. You must be shredding them. I know it does work. It does work. It's just the animation maybe is a little bit uh, off center. Oh no. Oh no. Let me live. Well. I don't really want to lure all these on back to the base, that's all. I don't want to be able to get rid of them. Let's swing up. Swings up okay. Ah, jeez. Give me a break. I know I unlocked the shotgun. for it. Hope for the best. Why is there a skeleton? i nervous when I had the bow for this one. Get away. Uh, I didn't mind the long sword. I'll keep that out, I think. So, I can build the anvil now for the blacksmith who I just rescued, and that will generate iron daily. I used to make quite the living smelting cold iron bars. Good job. So, what do I do now? I wonder if this is a smarter place to build. Oh, I suppose I've got nowhere to run then. Because I don't anyway, really. Well, they'll find their way to me somewhere or another. Hmm. Wonder if we'll get some more base defenses. Build some of these actually. I've got no food left either. The worry. Uh, a forge. Why not? A few more little, uh, Farming plots down. Um, and just don't leave you alone. Source. Oh, they destroyed my torch, didn't they? Of course they did. Only better build a couple anyway, I think. <laughs> That's it. Oh man. I guess all I can do at the moment, actually, I can probably build this door back. Is uh, sit here and wait to heal. That doesn't sound very fun. I will uh, pause and be right back. Just done pausing a little bit early because you might see there a skeleton has just popped out of the campfire. <laughs> so that's um, hazardous. All right, we're basically healed anyway. Can I do anything with this food yet? Oh, yes, I can. 
Oh, lovely. We do have a bit of food now, so my people won't starve. All my dudes should be generating resources every day now, which is nice. I've got some metal and stone coming through. Now for a little wander again. So I've got six keys. Are you an enemy or are you just sitting there dancing? Not anymore, you're not. A little wonder. There was a lot more to this cave as well. I'm gonna check that out. I believe there was an extra ladder leading up somewhere near the rock wall. Might have been close to the town. Oh. I'll go have a look. But there was a lot of this I hadn't explored. I go in there? No, it's just a... Down here. Not much. Another weapon or the same one? I think it was the same one. Wonder. Build 180 zombies. So at the very least I'll get some decent meta progression out of this, assuming it's uh saved between runs, because obviously this is not the final game. I do expect some things to change or uh, be lost in between versions at this point in the in development cycle, so just have to wait and see. Was a letter. Just over here as well, I might grab that. I don't know what's the dial on doing it. Ideally. These guys off my back. Nice. The green thing again. I reckon that must be the handle of a, a dagger or something. All right, let's see where this goes. Whoa! That's very unfair. Lucky I had a bit of health. Um, so where is this taking me? Is this near the village? Oh. What's going on here? Could use some food if you have any extra. Okay. Um... Alright, well, that's possibly a worthy little detour. Get a new NPC back at the base. However, night's falling. I'm badly injured. <laughs> I may not make it back to find out what he does for me. Actually, an interesting little area here. I wonder if you could build a little base here. Could use his house, maybe. Breaking a skull because I did break a skull before any ghost came out and uh, basically destroyed me. So I might not do that. Call me a coward, but uh, couldn't damage the ghost, so it was basically screwed. Now this guy's gonna annoy me. 
got sneaked by. Beautiful. Hopefully it's a safe run home. Middle of the night. Don't think I've grabbed any new weapons to die. Not yet. Okay, that's a little speed boost I can use. <laughs> You again. Oh, my new friend. An axe for the lumberjack. Okay. There he is. Talk to fellow. There we go. So now we should have all four. Well, all three resources being produced, except for food. Hopefully these farms can keep up. But there you go. Making some progress here. So the combat system is nicer. I'm getting around a bit nicer. I'm uh, finding that a bit easier to use. Um, I've progressed much further than I have before. Four NPCs now in town, producing resources. And uh, yeah, game's coming along nicely. So I'm going to wrap it up there, though. For, so thank you for watching. Um, again, this is Rogue Knight. If you're interested, I've got a link to the demo in the description. It's on Steam. Um, estimated release date is quarter four, 2024. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot and keeps you in the loop when new videos drop. And I do like to cover indie games, new and upcoming, things with demos, that sort of thing. So uh, always looking for something new to play. So if you have any game suggestions, also feel free to leave me a comment in the comments below. So thanks again, and I will see you next time. Cheers.